Woo! High flyer. WCR, the window cleanse, wagtail series, coming at you. Let's go. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the features of the High Flyer. And we talked a little bit about this when we were doing the High Flyer versus Accelerator. But I want to show you just a couple more things about this. Look at the channel. Look how it's absolutely flat against the rubber. Now normally, like on a standard channel, you see that curve? This is absolutely flat. And so what that does is it gives more support to the rubber, which means that when you're on the window, it's gonna have a, it's gonna have a harder feel to it, stiffer. It's gonna feel stiff. And you can see that the rubber only extends just a little bit above the channel. So it's, a, it's less forgiving than let's say the flipper because of that support. But the, the upside to that is that you uh, can really get minimal detailing on the windows that you are working on. Okay. And again, uh, let's talk about how there's a dual pivot here. So as you look at that, there's no other squeegee on the market that does this. You have the pivot this way, but then you have the pivot this way. And that just really increases your range of motion as you're working. And you can actually go upside down at different angles, which is really nice. You also have this whole pad that this backing plate. And when you're scrubbing, you are scrubbing with that whole plate. You're scrubbing with that whole plate as opposed to when you're using the flipper you can see the line where the pressure is actually applied and it's right where the squeegee rubber is so you're going to get a better uh, scrub which is important this uh, channel uh, the the rubber will slide around so you can see that i put a green zip tie in there and i just put one on one side and that's enough to hold it so why don't we go up to the windows and just uh, show a little bit more about the high flyer. So the high flyer in hand is, out of all, all the wagtails, is my favorite. I have a 14 here and I want to go in here and show you how useful it is. Uh, not only how it, how it feels in hand, but the practicality of it in hand in certain situations. So this is a good example of where the high flyer really shines because I have a tight spot down there and we'll just clean this up a little bit. Okay, so on this bottom window you really don't want to be uh, doing a lot of transitions on your belt. So you can just do it like this, scrub one hand and then you just let it drop and then you can just do a straight pull and if you want to do it this way a straight pull that way and you're done okay here's another good example so I'm on a I'm on a uh, working behind trash barrel and I could wheel it out but it's all those little things that add up and if I don't have to why would I so the high flyer solves that problem okay no transition which is also going to save you time and so it's these little things that add up over time See on my belt, you can see on my belt that I, all I have is uh, wagtails, three high flyers, 10 inch, 14, and a 16. 
I'll use the 16 as my scrubber and I mean you can you can do two hands with it if you want. For those of you I've been reading comments about uh, tennis elbow, the wagtail can really reduce your fatigue when it comes to your joints. And you see how this is just really good, really good, really good, really good for these bottom windows. And you just drop it up, uh, side down, like that, just pull it towards you, and done. The angle of the squeegee when you're actually squeegeeing is uh, kind of important with the high flyer. So you almost want it so that the handle is dragging across the glass. And this becomes more important the bigger the squeegee you go. I have a 14 in my hand right now, but if you go 16, and this is just to demonstrate using the tool, not cleaning the window. But, you know, as you're squeegeeing, you want that handle really close to the glass. I mean, you can see in the reflection how close it is. It's just about touching. And this, uh, this technique is specific to the high flyer. Um, it's not like you would want to do that with every squeegee that you're using or even every high flyer, every wagtail. You wanna just uh, be mindful of that when you are using the high flyer because if you start to bring the handle up like this you're gonna start getting skips because your squeegee rubber is now flat against the glass like that you see that you get those skips and then as you tilt it back towards the glass you get the good action so there's just one thing I want to show you one more thing and that is um, zero detail with the, uh, the high flyer so if you are working with windows that don't have seals on them you know like uh, residential you just cut it flush like that and it'll really minimize your detailing if you're working with rubber seals you cut it back like that this will ride the seal and this will ride right up against the seal and that will really eliminate and reduce, reduce, I would say, your detailing. I'm working here on this piece of black glass, and so this will provide a good contrast. And what I wanna show you is cutting your rubber back about a eighth of an inch on either side on rubber seals, what that does. Just go up like that, and down like that. Okay, and let's look at the edges. And so this leaves you with minimal to zero detailing. Since I know that I'm gonna be working all day on rubber seals, cut all my channels that way. Now, if you're not working on rubber seals, let's say you have some windows and it's just the hard frame, what do you do? Well, you can just go back to your dive bombing. So, let me show you. I have a 14 inch in my hand right now. Okay, so let's say you were you didn't have those seals, you just dive bomb like that, dive bomb like that, okay, and now we're just paying attention to the, to the edges. The reason you have to go back to your dive bombing is that if you're going up against the hard sill, you're going to have a space there about an eighth of an inch. So then when you dive bomb, it gets the rubber in contact with the edge of the sill. And that little trick and tip is not specific to wagtails. Try that on any squeegee.
try that on your brass standard channels. Try that on your stainless steels. Try that on your wide bodies, your super channels, your uh, quicksilvers. Try it, and just remember, when you're working on the rubber seals, that's when it works, and when you're working against hard frames, you just gotta go back to your dive bombing. So what is the uptake with all of this information about the wagtails? We've discussed four. We've discussed the flipper, the orbital combi, the precision glide, and the high flyer. If you're just starting out, what should you start with? Well, first off, I'm gonna take the combi and I'm gonna take the precision glide out of the equation. Let's take those out of the equation for the moment, which leaves us the high flyer and the flipper, slimline flipper and the high flyer. So which one should you start with? I mean, it's a virtual tie. I would say the high flyer is more versatile because it's better in hand than the flipper, but the flipper is easier to learn on. And this was the original. So I would say start with the flipper. And if you're gonna do if you're gonna do storefront, you'd be okay with an 18. You'll get good results with the 18. And uh, you could go 18, 16, 14 on storefront. If you want to try it on residential, go uh, 12, 10, 8 on residential. So that uh, that's where I would start with the flipper. If you're going to go high flyer, once you get the flipper down, you, you probably want to go high flyer just because it's better in hand. So, and it's, it is better too, um, as we demonstrated in those cramped tight spaces, it's gonna perform uh, better than the, the flipper, but the flipper is gonna do a little bit better. It's gonna be easier to use on the pole when you're doing storefront. But uh, if you're doing storefront with the high flyer, I would say start at 16, don't start at 18 and go 16, 14. 14 is really the sweet spot. This is a 14 right here. Um, it'll be a workhorse for you and if you're gonna do residential this is a 10 inch I'd say go 10 uh, you can also find a 7 inch at window cleaning world which is Australian based and is uh, the largest supplier of wagtails in the world so check them out so I do want to thank you very much for joining me on this episode of the wagtail revisited and tune in every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for a new episode of The Creators on WCR's YouTube channel. Fridays is Nation with Jersey. And if you want more information about the Wagtails, go to windowcleaner.com and you'll be able to find the information there under Wagtail. And so until next time, I want to wish you a good day in your business. Stay tuned for the next in this episode, in this, stay tuned for the next in this series, which will be the Wagtail Wave and uh, some other Wagtail water-fed equipment. This is Jordy, signing off, wishing you a very good day in your business. Take care. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if a life without Jordy is unbearable, check out his YouTube channel, at The Window Cleanse on YouTube.